lava flows suggest that the last magnetic pole reversal persisted longer than we previously thought. The magnetic field of our planet changes over time, but one particular feature that continues to puzzle scientists is the phenomenon of magnetic pole reversal. That's when the magnetic north and south pole switch, they flip for hundreds of thousands of years before the process again reverses itself. This is by Alfredo Carpinetti of IFL Science. Sometimes this is called, the phenomenon can happen for a brief interval of a few hundred years called an excursion when the magnetic field wanes, switches, and then it goes back to normal for a bit. And the last time a full reversal happened was about 773,000 years ago. By studying lava flows in Chile, Tahiti, Hawaii, the Caribbean, the Canary Islands, researchers estimate the whole process took roughly 22,000 years, much longer than previously thought. This is the work that was published in Science Advances. The team collected lava flow samples spanning roughly 70,000 years around the pole reversal and measured levels of argon in the rocks to provide a more complete picture of the geomagnetic shift. Lava flows are ideal recorders of the magnetic field. They have a lot of iron-bearing minerals, and when they cool, they lock in the direction that the field was in at the time these rocks were created. This is what the lead author, Brad Singer, University of Wisconsin-Madison, said in his statement. And he explains, but it's a spotty record. No volcanoes are erupting continuously, so we're relying on careful fieldwork to identify the right records. The team combined these with records from the seafloor. They're less spotty, but also less precise. And Antarctic ice cores that hold the record of beryllium produce, production in the atmosphere. When the magnetic field is weak, more cosmic rays hit the atmosphere, and that's when more beryllium is produced. By combining all this data, the team estimates the pole reversal happened over 4,000 years, but with the preceding 18,000 years marked by dramatic magnetic field instability, including two excursions. The weakening of the field began about 795,000 years ago, and about 11,000 years later, the field became erratic. The samples, like compasses frozen in time, show highly variable directions. The 22,000 year estimate is more than twice as long as previously believed, and much longer than the hypothesis that suggested it might have happened over a human lifetime. The data provides insight not just into the timeline of the event, but its properties as well. Despite being a fascinating subject, there's a lot we don't know about this geophysical phenomenon. Reversals are generated in the depth, the deepest part of the Earth's interior, but the effects manifest themselves all the way through the Earth, and especially at the Earth's surface and in the atmosphere. This is what Singer says. Unless you have a complete, accurate, and high-resolution record of what a field reversal really is like at the surface of the Earth, it's difficult to even discuss what the mechanics of generating a reversal are. Since records began, the planet's magnetic field has decreased by about 5% per century. It's unclear if this suggests a reversal is imminent, if it's the beginning of an excursion, or if it is something completely different. It could well be a completely normal fluctuation. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. 
So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.